All right, thanks to everyone for joining. We are joined now by Allie Long. Uh, first of all, congrats on a tough, uh, tough game out there. Could you just start us off with some thoughts on uh, on the match? I think that, um, well, first of all, it's great to come back to Portland and to um, see the fans here. Such an incredible environment to play. And so, um, you know, I think that was great. Great to see us finally back from kind of COVID and everything. But um, I thought the game was a, was a tough match. I think that, you know, we knew Portland was going to be direct and that's uh, what they did so well today. And I think that um, Didi had an unbelievable game, player of the match for me. Um, she kept us in it from start to finish. All right, we'll go and open it up to questions. Steph, go ahead and start us off, please. Thank you. Uh, Ali, obviously you just said extraordinarily tough game. Early on, it looked like Portland was putting a lot of pressure on your center backs back there, maybe some two-on-two -two situations developing that looked a little hairy. From your perspective in the midfield, what adjustments did you guys make in order to kind of ease up all that pressure on them and start getting the ball back out? Yeah, I think that they do such a good good job of kind of sitting on both of our center backs and then myself um, to deny me of getting the ball and to deny them from being able to play out. So I think that um, just getting more numbers around and being able to make shorter passes and kind of, you know, combine to get out. Uh, I think first half they did a great job to stop our stop what we're so good at, and um, second half we're able to adjust and keep possession of the ball a little bit more instead of um, you know going so direct, which really isn't our game and it plays into their hand. Hmm. And not to get you fined or anything, but late in the game, there was, you know, a, a, a call that looked questionable to people watching the game. And I'm sure, you know, from your protests, it, it felt that way to you as well. And this has been a recurring thing going on now, not just this season. Does it feel like to you guys that you can, in any given game, rely on the refereeing? And if not, you know, does that alter the way that you play or the way that you feel about you know, your ability to play a game to its fullest? Um, you cannot rely on the referees. I think that um, there was a couple of questionable, extremely questionable calls. I think that it felt like it was um, a ref just for almost Portland today. And I think that's kind of a theme when we come in here. Um, but, you, you know, I think that instead, of, if I get fouled, um, you know, I'm forcing myself to kind of hold my ground and stay up the best I can because I know if I go down and the ball pops up that who knows if it'll be a foul or not. I think Midges was a clear PK. The trajectory of the ball was going in Mid Midges' path and the way that, you know, the other player came in and slid tackled. She got 0% of the ball and that's um, a PK every single time in my book. All right. Uh, thank you, Allie. Al, you have a passing accuracy of over 90% you know, on, on the season so far, and you've really kind of been a player that's been dictating you know, the tempo of play for the team. Can you just talk a little bit about that role that you stepped into? Yeah, I think that um, you know, I, coming in and stepping into this team and this environment, um, Frey's style of play fits exactly how um, I see the game, and I think that it's been such a seamless change for me. Um, you know, And I just try to get the ball off the back line and kind of just like kind of be the quarterback. And um, I love that role. I love being able to change up, you know, the way that I'm passing. Is it short? Now they now there's pressure more than I can go long. And just it's kind of almost like a chess match for me every time I'm, I'm in there. And that's I'm always kind of like doing math and doing numbers while I'm while I'm playing. So, um, you know, it's been so fun. I'm surrounded by such great players and people that trust me. They give me the ball all the time. Um, but I think today, uh, Portland did a good job of kind of denying me of, of getting the ball and I would hear Mark just scream alley long like when I was nowhere near the ball so I knew that kind of that was their game plan so um, which is fine I think that if they step to me it'll leave someone else open um, we just need to recognize that a little bit sooner. Great any final questions for Allie before we let her go for the afternoon? All right thank you for joining Allie. Thanks guys. We'll be joined shortly by Didi Harchic.
professor here? Yeah, that's just fine. I'm, uh, I'm just over here in the hiding hole, so let me get the. <sighs> Thanks for joining, Dee Dee. Um, first off, congratulations on an incredible game. Um, you came up with some incredible saves. Uh, can you just get us started with uh, your thoughts on the match? Um, I thought this time around um, it was better with possession for us. I felt like we had more moments with the ball, um, and I thought we were better at building out a little bit this time. Um, obviously, towards the end of the game, we decided to go a little bit more direct, um, but I think we did a better job winning those second balls after I went direct, and we ended up being more in their end. Great. We'll go and open up to questions from the media. Steph, go ahead and start us off, please. Thank you. Didi, um... <laughs> you sat down with like that sound and a sigh is that kind of you know the this the the feeling the overall feeling you have after such a, a tough game especially with so much like swarming defense in front of the goal yeah I think I mean the credit to my defense um two massive clearances off the line um I think it's more so <laughs> I'm tired, I'll be honest. Um, it's been a long trip um, with the time change and everything, but you can't beat this Portland crowd. And I think I've said that before. Um, I think that's honestly what always keeps me going. And I think the girls can agree with me. It's just an awesome atmosphere. So to come out of here with a point is, is big for us. Um, and I think it would be big for any team. So, yeah. And as a follow-up on the defense, you guys had a little bit of a change up on the back line in between halves. Um, what was that discussion like with you guys and how did it feel to you, you know, with, with, you know, the defensive change and everything. And then the, uh, as you mentioned, you know, deciding to go more direct later on. Um, I think, um, including myself, all of us have confidence in anyone. Um, uh, we had a few hiccups and that's, we needed a line change and, but at the end of the day, we're all good and we all have confidence in one another and we're all on the same page. So we know what needs to be done. Um, and as for going direct, yeah, I mean, it's at, at some point you got to start managing the game. Um, and if you're getting pummeled, you just, we, we got to go long at that point. I'd rather lose it up higher, to be honest. Um, but I don't think we lost it up higher because like I said, we were doing a very good job collecting the second balls, the second chances. So I'm proud of the gang today. It was good. Thank you. Robert, over to you. Hey, can you talk to us about your communication with your back line, particularly with uh, Estelle and Gina? Um, yeah, to stay compact was the main one. Um, in terms of building out, same thing, stay close, um, but also let's not force things. Um, it's, it's pretty much the same communication, communication every game. Um, it doesn't change. Um, yeah, I just, those two are awesome. So I personally love playing behind them. It's awesome. Great. Any final questions for Didi before we let her go for the afternoon? All right. Thanks for joining, Didi. Um, congratulations. You were also a player of the match, if you didn't know. Oh, sweet. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you. We'll be joined momentarily by head coach Freya Kuhn.
All right. Extra big thanks for uh, for, for joining us uh, during the uh, Euro Cup final. So let's make this quick. Um, Freya, can you just give us uh, your thoughts on the match? Yeah, for us, it was uh, the traditional uh, cliche of a game of two halves. I think we, sh we struggled a little bit under Portland's pressure in the first half and weren't able to really keep the ball, um, but definitely improved in the second half. We're able to possess, move it and create better chances. Um, so overall, you know, felt a bit hard done by with not being able to really come out with a result uh, towards the end after putting on a lot of pressure, but probably, uh, probably a fair result overall. All right, we'll open up to questions from the media. Steph, go ahead and get us started, please. Hi, Freya. Um, I won't spoil the score for you, but... Oh, it's all right. We're watching. So. Oh, okay. Great, great. Um, you know, we talked to Ali Long about this, but early on, you know, you talked about tail two halves, Portland putting immense pressure, particularly on your center backs. Can you talk about the adjustments that you guys made to kind of relieve some of that and start breaking the ball out and getting it higher up the field? Yeah, um, we were able, I think Jennifer Cujo coming in made a difference in terms of being able to play under pressure. She's incredibly good at that. Um, and that certainly helped um, with our ability to build through Ali and, th and through Jen and, and then to be able to progress the ball into, into the next uh, third of the field. So that was a big addition. And then just uh, being able to work it and be more comfortable. I think Caprice Tedesco also uh, had a big impact in our ability to just calm down and, and keep the ball. All right. Thank you. Robbie, over to you. Oh, yeah. Can you just talk to us about uh, Tanae's debut in the second half and like what you noticed from that? Yeah, I thought she had a very, very strong debut for the league. Um, I think it's always tricky to adjust to a new league, especially one like the NWSL, which is much faster paced. Um, but I thought she was incredibly good. She, you know, was calm in the ball. She kept it very simple, played quickly and picked a, picked really good spaces and pockets to be able to receive the ball and progress us forward. So very, very happy with her debut. Uh, I thought she looked great. Uh, Steph, one more follow up question for you. Yes, thank you. Um, Freya, you did mention, you know, overall it was a fair result, but felt a little hard done by to not come away with a result, which is if you were watching this game in the first half, you would be like, that is an insane thing to say with respect. But, yeah, yeah. you know, I guess my question is how? How does Gotham keep doing this? You guys, you know, you keep just hanging in there, turning it around, coming away with results and points even against, you know, sometimes available evidence from the game. And, you know, once again, with respect, sometimes it just seems like the, the whole momentum of the game is against you. And you guys are coming out of this with points, which I'm not complaining about, just from your point of view as a coach with the numbers and the tactics, is there any way you could succinctly put it for people? Uh, I think we've worked incredibly hard. I think the goalkeepers do a phenomenal job. I think Didi came up trumps today a number of times, making incredible saves. And then the goal line clearances of our inability to quit uh, from Estelle and from Amani in that first half were incredible. We just don't stop, um, don't, don't stop working. And then, you know, we almost, I think we were, you know, had a call for a penalty. Uh, the obviously, the referee made the decision that it wasn't a, a penalty. Um, but I think in those moments, those are our opportunities to to win the game and to, to put the game to to bed a little bit. And obviously, we had a few more chances with Sodam as well. So, you know, it's important that we take our chances. But I think, you know, looking at it, DD today has kept us in it as well.